You know, one of the things you have to keep in mind with water-cooled rigs is regular maintenance, or in my case, completely neglected for two years. This coolant has been sitting in this rig since September of 2016. We are almost in September, which means this fluid has definitely surpassed the typical annual flush and fill that I'll do. Uh, Phil, huh, Phil, camera guy, Phil, uh, anyway. So the goal of today is to completely drain this system, uh, take a look at the blocks, see how they fare, did it gunk at all, did it? Did any of that white powdery stuff build up? Because remember, this is a pastel fluid from Mayhem's, which in the past I had some problems with, with the yellow and the orange, but the blue and the green so far in both systems I've had them running in have been extremely solid. So we're gonna drain it, take a look at it, and kind of prepare for an upgrade that's coming to Skunk Works in the very near future. But I just wanted to uh, kind of make a video today to see what happens when you leave a fluid in a system for two years. Now this is gonna be pretty easy today because when I set this up, it's almost like I knew what I was doing. I've got easy drain ports, I've got fill ports, I've got a fill as a cameraman. That joke is never gonna get old to me. So the bottom's actually prepped now for me to drain, but I've got two loops in this, remember? So I'm gonna save that one for last because the GPU loop, which is the bottom one down there, it's kind of a bit a pain to get all the fluid out of because I have this part right here, which sort of just dangles there. But the CPU loop, as you can see, it's all contained right here. It goes in the reservoir, out through the pump, into the CPU block, through the rad, back to the rad, and into the reservoir. The drain is down here at the lowest point, so this is extremely easy for me to get most of the fluid out of. We did have what looks like, and the camera's probably not gonna pick this up, but the GPU loop, which is the hotter loop, has definitely gone about, I mean, what do you think, Phil? Maybe a half shade darker? Can you see that? I'm literally red, green, colorblind. <laughs> I can't tell. <laughs> now, if we put up this side-by-side -side compared to the old videos, um, the yellow turned straight up puke brown, or diarrhea brown, and the orange turned a disgusting, nasty c color as well. But the green has not done that. But both the yellow and the orange did it in only a few months. This has turned just such a slightly darker green in two years. So I'd say this fluid is holding up pretty well. Now I've done this a million times. I've showed this in my previous videos, but inevitably I'm always asked a bunch of times how I drain my systems. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you right now. Of course, I've got this drain valve. You can thread on a barb. In this case, I have a Alpha Cool compression fitting. And you can just push on your fitting and then stick the other end in sort of some sort of a catch can, can or container. I've had this hose pop out and spray everywhere. But because of the diameter tube that I use, I can actually shove it right there in the handle. Now, if I open up this valve or this plug on the top right here, air can get into the loop, which means as soon as I train or turn this valve, physics takes over. Not bad, right? Now what I'm gonna be doing is, if, this, if the blocks check out and there's no powdery residue, oxidation, or any of the nickel being eaten away, then I'm gonna mix both of these fluids together so that they're the same color. And then what we'll do is we'll mix them together and put it back in. Sometimes when you start dealing with the powder buildup, you'll see it forming on the O-rings. But this O-ring is perfectly clean. I've taken these O-rings off before on the, on the fluids that have started to change color on me and have them be nothing but a big powdery mess. And I've showed those in some of the previous videos, so make sure you guys check those out. But what I'm about to do right now, it's kind of gross, don't recommend it. Some will even say you're blowing bacteria in there, but you gotta kind of blow your system to help push out some of the fluid. Now the reason why I do this, and I'm not concerned about blowing in there, is these fluids are also growth inhibitors, so that you don't get things like algae and bacteria and other things sort of growing in the loop. I was planning on taking the block off and looking at it up close, but if Phil gets in here, you can see that block is extremely clean. So you can see there's no real discoloration, there's no powder buildup. Um, it's maybe slightly yellowed, but that's normal when nickel has fluid running over it. Uh, it actually looks really, really good. But if there's any sort of sediment building up, um, it would probably end up being in the GPU rig because temperature can really break down a fluid quickly. And the GPU loop gets significantly hotter than my CPU loop. So that's the one that we definitely want to look at closely. So the same thing, we're just gonna open up one of the uh, fittings on the top of the reservoir. Air can't get in, then fluid can't get out, or it just dribbles really badly like, you know, like a bad 
bad, bad P. I don't know. I don't know what I was trying to say. All right, so we turn this knob here. Same thing. I love physics. It makes my job so much easier. Physics are great. Physics don't lie. Physics or physics? To get a good look at the GPU, I'm gonna take the top one out. But look at that. That is really clean. That little buildup of whatever this gunk is right here is in both blocks in the exact same spot. And it was there when I filled the loop. So it didn't happen with this fluid. That could have been something left over from previous fluid. What I wanna reiterate is in the flow plate right here, there's no buildup, there's no powder. You can see on the nickel, there's no corrosion. There's no nickel flaking off. This looks like a new block that I just poured fluid in. Important to remember though, sometimes people see a little bit of bleed in the area in the middle of the block, like where the fluid will kind of pass over it slightly. The only O-ring in here is on the perimeter. There's nothing sealing off the inside other than the pressure of the acrylic pushing down. So you're gonna see some fluid kind of make its way on top of the metal in between the acrylic level, uh, you know, layer. So don't freak out if you see that. What we care about obviously is what it looks like here. And if we look at this block head on, there is absolutely no corrosion of any kind, no discoloration. I haven't even rinsed this. This is just the way it, it poured out. So this looks damn good. Now let's talk about Skunk Works here for a minute because a lot of you guys were really kind of sad that the system was missing from the channel for the last couple, almost couple of years. Well, I've been in the studio now over a year and a half. And so a lot of folks were just really missing Skunk Works because this was always the centerpiece of my channel. This build was intended to be completely impractical, expensive, unnecessary, you know, kind of like me, big, impractical, unnecessary. I want to bring this back to the channel. So I'm going to be tearing apart my system that I have upstairs currently because, you know, Phil does 99% of our editing now. And so we're gonna be doing some more stuff for a system for him, but I want to bring this system back to the forefront of the channel. So I'm gonna start integrating this system more in some videos. It's gonna be my, my desk rig upstairs in our little editing den, which means an upgrade is necessary. Now let's talk about this upgrade real quick. I think, and it's actually, it's not necessary. That was the wrong word. It's, it's just wanted, which is why anyone would have something like this. Nobody needs this. I know, I'm sure people are already like freaking out, like RTX, Jay's doing RTX, it's obvious Jay's doing RTX. Um, it's obvious I'm gonna be doing RTX reviews. And I kind of feel like if this system is gonna maintain its uh, status as being just an over the top, completely impractical build, then RTX might make the perfect choice for that. But we haven't gotten any finalized plans yet for any of that. So I just wanted to kind of talk about that. But I do know for a fact I'm going to be upgrading the system. And I'm kind of thinking about doing like maybe the 16 core 7960X that's upstairs in here or the motherboard update maybe changing out the fans, redoing the lighting, but I do know I kind of want to revamp this system. It has sat neglected in my home office for a long time. By neglected, I mean I played games on it periodically at best for maybe 45 minutes at a time. But that's why I thought that this was a very good uh, video today to show how the fluid has kind of held up because there are times I <laughs> walked away from the system playing a game, wife calls me, you know, calls me downstairs, hey, dinner's ready. And then proceed to forget about it for a month, running, nonstop, in a room that's not air conditioned because they close off the vent, that way the rest of the house can get AC. I think this has gone through kind of one, some of the worst scenario that you possibly could. So I just kind of wanted to talk about Skunk Works. Made a little mano e mano, or mano e fi mano. Is, that, is that how you say fi mano? Fi mano, female? Uh, mano e mano is like when you fight, fizz, like it's just a fist fight without any weapon. We can do that, you wanna do that? We can do that. All right, that's back together. You know what it's time for? Phil doing the filling montage. All right, she's back together, cleaned up, de-dustified. The fluid has been inspected, looks great. Blocks, as you guys saw, absolutely fantastic. Highly impressed with how the green pastel actually held up over, uh, over the last two years. Absolutely fantastic. So obviously there was, you know, with the reds and the oranges and the yellows and the issues that were happening in the past are definitely dye slash color dependent. 
So yeah, I'm happy with this. Now, like I started to say, future upgrades, gonna probably bring this up to X299. We'll more than likely put RTX cards in here just because this system, as I said, has always been the centerpiece of the channel and grows with the channel. And the, the, the channel has grown a lot since this PC was worked on last two years ago. I think two years ago, I was sitting at like 500,000 subs the last time I did anything with this. We've gained over 1.1 million since then. So if you guys have any suggestions on what we should do with this, I'm kind of debating a color change. I'm, I'm digging maybe blue. I don't know, gunmetal and blue. I also think because this case is no longer available because since we've last touched this system, Case Labs has unfortunately closed up shop. Um, I kind of feel like doing a case mod or something to this as some sort of a tribute slash homage to Case Labs, something that a lot of people have been doing. So I figure, why the heck not? So, the hell did a lawnmower just drive by? Okay, whatever, you probably came in here. I probably seem like a crazy guy, that's okay. Guys, we're gonna go, thanks for watching this video. Um, I've never let fluid go this long in a system, um, since doing YouTube anyway. I did have one system that ran for like seven years before, but that was, that was back when we were talking like early 2000s when we didn't know what we were doing. We were just hooking up pond pumps and aquarium stuff and calling it water cooled. Obviously things have come a long way since then. All right guys, thanks for watching. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Where my hose at, bitch? H-O-S-E, not H-O-E-S. <laughs> I knew you'd be filming that.